Hey, what's up everyone? Once again, it is Big Robot News today. And today we have Eric July, our favorite libertarian, anarchist, crackhead, uh, antichrist, uh, comic book, uh, clip art lover of all times. Now, here we have Eric July saying that you can have your difference of opinion and so on, as long as you leave it at the door. That's wrong. So we're going to look at these demonic witches. And let me just move this out of the way. Right over here. Uh, the Saska sisters. And I'm not going to read everything, but transgender is gender. Saska uh, sisters. All right. Now we're going to go right over here and we say love to all trans brothers and sisters out there to survive on this shore. Uh, I think it says shore uh, photographs and interviews with transgender and gender non-conforming older adults. Well, it's good that they're into it, adults only. But it trickles down into children uh, from blah, 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 and so on. And this is pretty, um, okay, there's the original tweet. This is um, uh, Wayback Machine or whatever you call it. So let's go over here, and we're going to close this. And we're just going to, you know, we're going to play a couple of videos. That's having a slant to a different side of the political spectrum. That defeats the purpose. A rule about social views and real world politics within the company is simple. Leave it at the door. We will sell our products to anybody. See, the reason why, why it's a problem leaving at the door is that you do not employ people with a satanic belief system at all. Okay. And the reason because of this is because the Saska sisters support transgenderism. They support these people. They may go to a drag show. They may give them money. And those people that are transgender, they're going to buy their pharmaceutical drugs and, and so on from these doctors and so on. And they're going to want to make uh, these doctors, every business wants to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And they're going to find more ways and how to expand their business. So it's, in, it's going to come for the kids, okay? So I have another very important video I want to play. Uh, this is a Joe Rogan video. Now, it's someplace on YouTube or Rumble, but I found it on Fox News. But we're just going to play this. All these articles that came out about the misgendering of the school shooter which is so oh, it's crazy wild this is insane first of all that person's dead okay it doesn't matter if you call it a boy or a girl that's a dead person who killed three children and three adults in a horrific way you made this i think you had this i think you were the first one that really said that drew attention to like that all this all the confusion around sex and gender was a symptom of Cult of civilizations in decline. Yeah, well, it was. I got it from Douglas Murray. Oh, Douglas Murray. Yeah, this. Douglas Murray uh, talked about this. That it seems like every civilization, when they're at the brink of collapse, becomes obsessed with gender. And he talked about ancient Greece and ancient Rome, and it just seems like a thing that people do when there's no real, like, like physical conflict. Right. So people look for conflict that doesn't exist and they find conflict in standard norms they find conflict in societal norms all right so 
Um, one, one YouTube channel I want you guys just to be aware of, uh, in case you guys are living in, in a bubble, is the James O'Keefe Media Group channel. Um, you know, he used to run Project Veritas. Um, he's been exposing a lot of this stuff and a lot of other things that are going on that will quite clearly blow your mind. You really need to be aware of some of the stuff um, that he's reporting on. And, you know, once in a while, Project Veritas will still uh, release something good, but really it was James O'Keefe was really the face of the company. But I have a very interesting video I want to play right now. Now, this is about a sick parent that wanted to use their child for clout. think they're not mutilating kids? Look again. Just sit here and stare at it until you understand what's really going on. All right, so you saw that. Now this, this is a, I don't want to say was, but a very beautiful girl, a very sick mother. Um, you know, didn't get her daughter the proper uh, treatment um, that she was dealing with. If you watch my other video, the mother that uh, that's a lawyer, she got her daughter daughter the proper treatment because she was brainwashed by the school system into thinking that she was a boy. Um, now there was a report saying that Harvard Medical, um, uh, was trained doctors to, um, figure out if infants were transgender. And now it seems like that's been backtracked that they're saying, oh, it was intersex and, um, the re people that were reporting on it before got it wrong. Maybe it was wrong, but it, I'm, maybe they're just backtracking on it. So, but I do believe they do want to go after your kids. It is a fact. They are doing this in the school systems. And I remember one video. Now, here we have uh, Children's ho Hospital. Uh, not, not the um, Babylon Bee, not the Bee. Boston Children's Hospital. A good portion of children do know as early as early as seemingly from the womb, they are transgender, okay? And it is a fact that uh, Boston Medical School is doing mastectomies on, on girls, okay? I think 14 or 16 years old, they're already cutting off the breasts, all right? Now, as I can, you know, I'm just saying... They're backtracking. They're saying it, it, it's intersex. But Boston Medical um, Hospital, they are doing surgeries on minors. Okay. Um, Brookline, Massachusetts. There was a high school track, uh, track running or whatever. Officer, Officer Tatum uh, did a story on that. Brookline, Massachusetts won the uh, state championship. It was a boy that uh, came in first place, but he was on the girls' team. And at lacrosse, um, my previous video, uh, it was a boy that knocked a girl's teeth out of her, out of her face. I mean, it, it was really messed up. So here's an important uh, clip I want you guys um, to hear right here. Comes to presenting this information, and we certainly have many students that have written to us to our organization complaining about this. We have one student who famously told us that I've had more lectures about pronouns than I've had about kidney disease. 
And uh, this clearly can't benefit the medical students and certainly can't benefit the health of the American people. So you heard that, is that what they're doing, and let me just, um, I'm not going to play it, but I just want to pause it right we here. Are okay, hold on. Let's see if I can go full screen and get this. Uh, I, can't, I can't get it because of the way the browser is. But anyway, oh, here it is. Uh, well, there it goes. Uh, I mean, I mean they're, they're brainwashing everybody into pronouns and, and this and that. And Officer Tatum said one thing. Now, first off, before I say this, I do not believe that, um, you know, white people are better than any other group. Um, but however, percentage-wise, there are more white people families of white people in this country who are conservative, okay, Christians, once they go after them and they are able to flip them to the left, say hello to communism, sickness, um, going after your kids, I mean, that is the last thing that they have to destroy before they can bring in all this other sickness, okay, okay. I don't care if the president is black. I don't care about any of that stuff. All I want is conservative people in there. All right? I'm not saying Republicans, okay? I'm not saying Republicans or, you know, anything like that are libertarian. I want a conservative in there that's against all this sickness straight up and is willing to do the right thing and destroy it. That's something that Eric July... Um, is not for destroying the transgender movement. He says that, well, you have a choice to do whatever you want. That's what the Bible says. You also do not have the right to manipulate somebody else, a child, a parent grooming their own kids. These are not choices that people are just making, you know, because they looked into something and they said, okay, yeah, I want to do that. These are people with mental issues extreme mental issues and the quartering uh just did a video in the last six shooters i know it, it might have been Stu peters um the last six shooters have all been transgenders okay all these shooters and actually your co-host alex stein went and confronted the cops uh eric and he, they won't even say that it's transgender or something. And he got up right in those cops' faces and he confronted them. And they just walked away from him. So that's why you do not support these people. You do not fund them. You do not give them jobs or any of these other things, okay? Now, let me be very clear about my uh, points of view, okay? I think overall Eric is a good guy. However, I think he does have a couple of screws loose in his head. All right? He does have a few screws loose in his head. All right? It's just a fact. I mean, he's very smart and so on. But what I do find a little bit funny is, like, well, I found a, a, a problem in the market. And I was uh, I started a comic book company. I mean, you saw to your subscribers. I mean, did Officer Tatum find, it, find a problem in the t-shirt industry? I mean, he has a warehouse, and he has the machines. He's printing up his own T-shirts. The Hodge Twins, what do they do? They find a, a problem with the T-shirt industry? I mean, come on. Those two guys, they give out trucks every three months. Dodge, Ford, Chevys, Jeeps. I mean, come on. I mean, I, I will say this. It is nice that, yeah, even if these people are not into comic books, but at least they're, they're reading them and they're giving another medium uh, a try and so on. So I think that's good. Are you, uh, you know, so you are adding more readers into the art form and that that's good. Um, but let me just say this. When I was a kid, comic books and the cartoons that we watched in the television shows that we watched had a great impact on culture. Eric July is so fixated on money that he sometimes doesn't understand culture. All right? And that's one thing that Alex Jones gets. Alex Jones understands that it is 
very important just to put the information out there, even if some people don't pay for it, because you need to get the information out there. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. When I was a little lad, a little, 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 little boy, maybe about five years old or so, whatever, maybe six, five, six years old. I mean, I literally had a, you know, my mom, her friend, um, uncle, uncle owned a, a little uh, convenience store. Um, and, you know, it, it was probably like, I'm trying to remember the, like how many houses were on that block. One, two on one side, three, four, five, six. You had to walk by six houses and cross the street, okay, to a convenience store. And the magazine rack was there. And at the bottom, it was all DC Comics. I, one time they had a, a Marvel. They, they had Marvel there. And it was a Fantastic Four. And I grabbed it because it was the only time I got to see Marvel. But that the rack, that magazine rack, uh, it wasn't a spindle. It was just, uh, you know, the kind you see at like Walgreens and CVS. Comic books there. Those are the comics I got. And those are the people that I wanted to be. I wanted to be strong. I wanted to be like Superman. I wanted to be like Batman. Okay, the cartoons I watched. Batman, Superman, and so on. Star Trek. I wanted to be like cool like Captain Kirk. I wanted to be like Luke Skywalker, not Mark Hamill. He's a, he's a screwball today. Uh, Han Solo. All these cool guys. Those are the guys I wanted to be. Okay? Those are the guys I wanted to be. All right, those are the people that I looked up to when I was like in my little fantasy world as a kid. You, your comic book company is not going to do that because it's not going to hit the masses. So one thing I would recommend that Eric July maybe do is look into starting a chain of convenience stores and then have trailers of the Ripperverse, um, you know, issues or whatever, Playing Alpha Core, you know, police, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't like Alpha Core. I didn't like ISO 1 or 2, whatever. But that's besides the point. But it's, I'm, just, I'm just saying that because it's hard for me to come up with ideas for this make-believe commercial that I'm talking about. Um, you know, so Alpha Core, you know, fighting for truth, justice in the American way, blah, blah, blah. Fighting bad guys, blah, blah, blah. And you just loop that, you know, with a big screen TV or so. And you could probably, like, put some other, you know, trailers there, too, for ISOM and whatever else is there. And then when kids come in, especially in the summer, kids are on their bikes. They're going to go into the convenience store. Maybe they're going to grab an ice cream when it's hot, maybe a soda or so on. Um, you know, they, you pick up comic books. Okay, that's what we did when we were kids. And when that convenience store up the street from um, where, where I used to live when I was a little kid with my parents, that store closed down. And then literally, I'm not joking, all right? It was one, two, cross the street, walk by a small building, two houses, and there was another store, which was probably like a two-minute walk. Another store that had comic books on the rack. All the kids in the neighborhood went there to get a, get the comic books. Marvel, DC. I mean, it wasn't the biggest selection in the world. But, I mean, that, that was more like when I was like 10, 12, 13 years old getting, getting my comic books there at that place. And uh, one of my friends, his he had an older brother. And his older brother had a job. And, like... You know, like, I was like, I, I think I was maybe like 12 or 11 at the time. And his older brother had a job. And he bought X-Men issue number one, I think, for $70 or something like that. And he's like, don't buy the comic books at the at, at the convenience stores anymore because of the barcodes are on there. Go down to the comic book store. They don't have the ones with the barcodes, so the covers are better. So we all, all us kids, we went, we started going to the comic book store and we stopped going to the convenience store, all right? And even the kids in the other neighborhood over, the next town over, you know, and so on, they stopped going to the, um, I'm assuming they stopped going to the, their convenience stores and everybody was going to the comic shop 
And then the convenience store said, well, these aren't selling, so we're going to get rid of them. And then the next generation of kids coming up, they never got exposed to comic books, okay? Got them in their hands when they were kids. Comic books more are now are kind of like an adult thing. Or maybe a later teenager thing where you can go out and get them yourself. When I was a kid, I mean, I was holding my mom's hand crossing the street when I was five or six years old. And, you know, and I got $2 for allowance. And that's what I used to get my comic books. Eric, that's what you should look into is opening up convenience stores. One, you are a capitalist. You do like to make money. So that's a, a plus for you. And then you give yourself another outlet where you can directly sell to, directly to the customers while they walk into your store. You know, and I'm not against comic book stores. However, you know, in, in a way they did, they did kind of ruin the rest of the comic book industry, you know, from all the other little corner places uh, that you could get them, you know, and th that's what sucks about the comic book stores. But there's a good side and there's a bad side of this. But Eric, you do not employ people that have satanic, devil worshiping belief systems. Okay, transgenderism is the work of the devil. You know that. There's no denying that, and you and nobody should influence anybody into being gay or transgender, or any of these things. And they are pushing this for a very specific reason. Depopulation. And all this transgender stuff, who's going to be making the money? The pharmaceutical companies. By, by selling all their drugs. And if everything goes the way the Democrats want by 2030... We will only be able to get EV cars. They are going to be very expensive, and you will not even be able to buy a used EV car 10 years. Like, you know, like a lot of times you can't afford a new car, you buy an old one, and then you want to buy an uh, old EV. Well, maybe you're only going to get 50 miles of range out of it, okay? Because the batteries don't last that long. Um, so, Eric. You are wrong on this issue, and you should talk to, to the Saska sisters. And I do know they probably watch your videos. Uh, maybe they can just talk on the phone. I don't know. But they are wrong about this issue, and transgenderism is something that should be destroyed because it does ch target ch children. And there are sick parents that will use their own children for clout and even push their own kids to have surgeries. And I'm out.